Civil Air Search and Rescue Association had a location at Salmon Arm, B.C. There were civilian pilot owners in the area willing to utilize their aircraft and experience to contribute when air searches were required, either the use of their aircraft or acting as a spotter on the military aircraft during a search. In the need of a search, the military search and rescue had DHC-5 Buffalo aircraft. They would arrive from Comox to carry military and civilian spotters. In the event of a search, spotters would then proceed from the Buffalo to the Salmon Arm Flying Club facility for their navigational briefings for the pending search. The Salmon Arm Airport had the facilities and the Salmon Arm Flying Club was available for spotter training classes, briefings, and search headquarters. The spotters were then to return to the Buffalo for a final briefing before boarding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an aircraft safety briefing and then I'll give you a quick talk about what we're talking about in the spotters. Upon boarding, the spotters were again briefed on the positions they were to occupy, the equipment at their disposal, and procedures to follow if and when the target was spotted. So it's just a matter of undoing those uh, six clicks and, uh, and this door will pop right out. The air crew stood by until all spotters were in and settled. The aircraft was started and began taxiing for takeoff. Due to the coolness and humidity, contrails were formed from the propellers. I published a 350-page book with 90 factual short stories on aviation and named it Tower Tales. Stories from my 27 year career as an air traffic controller and 52 years flying with a CPL and a GPL. My book Tower Tales is available at these two locations and in the description below. <laughs> <laughs>